Namaste, love and light to all my beautiful divine feminines and masculines out there. Welcome, I'm here in times two, so whatever you're about to receive, you're receiving it times two, and the karmic is receiving karma times two, okay, like bad karma. But anyways, welcome back to another Starseed reading with me, and welcome back to my channel, Starseed's Tarot, 444. We can get tarot readings and so much more. I send you all love and light, abundance, and prosperity. And if y'all would like to donate to me and my channel, follow me on Instagram to book a personal reading with me. Please check my description box down below. Everything you need to know will be there for you. And keep in mind, these readings are not going to resonate with all you guys. So do take what resonate and leave all the rest. Listen, I feel like you guys are super duper intuitive, but this intuitive as fuck. And you guys... You warned the karmic and told them, mess up with you, they're going to get karma. And it's like, it's, it's like that's what they're receiving. Remember I said in my video yesterday, they're walking time bomb? That's what's happening. Time is ticking. It's like they're falling out with every damn body. They don't even, it's like they even having a hard time trusting people around them. Like their mind is, is playing tricks on them too. All right, this is a karmic that's like experiencing psychosis, like a huge mental block. And I'm getting, it's most likely because they was playing around with spell work trying to get back at you all right and i'm getting get your twin flame back all right and get you back in the midst of it like get you back as in like revenge all right so get back at you that's what i should have said and they were trying to like get your twin flame hold on y'all and it's karmic they're so confused and it's like they're denying everything that you're calling them out for but it's like they know they did it they just want to tell you they just lying in your face telling you no they just want to tell you no but they know deep down they did it and it's like they don't want you to know that you're right they don't want you to know that they know so they're going to tell you that they didn't know okay honestly it's too much confusion something about a phone number all right phone number hack Okay, somebody could have been hacked into your phone number. All right, try to, you know, somebody could have been hacked into your computer through your phone number here. Unlink, unlink your phone number from your other devices, okay? Because somebody was trying to take you down with your phone number here. And this is why this person is bumping heads with everyone. Because it's like they told these people around them what they were doing with your, with your tap phone number here. And now they're trying to deny it or take it back or act like they didn't say these, say these things. And I'm getting they was making people sick around them. All right. That's what I'm getting. All right, and I'm getting a lot of confusion is hitting this karmic because they would be in a negative Nancy. And they and it's like you're stronger than this karmic here. You're way stronger, and I feel like your head is in a different head space than theirs. All this karmic do is just gossip, gossip, gossip. Talk, they talk about other people to, you know, to feel above them, all right, to build themselves up. And you're very intuitive. You're very psychic. You know everything. You know what this karmic was doing behind your back. And I'm getting they was doing spell work so you won't know. And you and it's like you picked up that they were doing spells for you to not know. All right, you're in a high frequency. And like I said, you have supersonic clairs. All your clairs is like supersonic. They're strong. It's like it's strengthened. It's, it's tuned up high. All right, and you're celebrating here and you're elevating as well. And these karmics is like, this karmic was crazy about, crazy about your lover and they went crazy over you. Okay, they was crazy about you too, but in a negative way. And I'm getting they really wanted your lover. They had a hard time letting your lover go because they didn't want your lover your, to see your light here this is an ex-lover though this is an ex-lover that chose to get down with the fuck shit with the karmic all right they chose to sleep with the karmic they was like sleeping around with the karmic here no protection all right they was passing around stds even spiritual transmitted diseases all right and then they got the nerve to try to have sex with you all right and and then you would have been picking up that nasty curse that they was passing around through sex. That's why you guys had to stay away from this karmic. Y'all couldn't trust them because, you know, they was, you know, sleeping around. They was sleeping around a lot, passing around spiritual transmitted diseases. All right, even through sex magic too. Like, they was doing all that stuff. And they don't want you to know that. It's like they're really mad that, you know, you, you are exposing the truth. They're really mad about that. And it's like these karmics was laughing at you because they thought they wasn't going to get caught. But now they're caught and they're looking stupid. And it's like they have no choice but to turn their backs down and walk away. All right? 
It doesn't matter what they're doing now. I'm going to do the prayer later. How you're going to better yourself. All right. And, you know, how you're going to connect deeper with spirit. A lot better with spirit. Like, how is that connection going to come about? I feel like you guys should definitely fix your crown to help you connect more with spirit. To help you work with your um, spirituality here. Hold on one sec. You need to, like, you know, adjust your, you know, fix your crown chakra. Like, work on it a bit. Because, um... This karmic was trying to block your crown, to block your vision, all right, and to somehow block your light, to block your higher self, to block you from connecting with your higher self, because they was jealous that you was connected with your higher self, that you're guided by it, and they don't even know why they were jealous, they were just jealous, what well, spirit is showing me, because you have it and they don't, this is someone that likes to take from others because you have it and they don't have it, this is someone who you can't trust, this is why you don't trust them, and they was trying to make you trust them and you don't trust them, they, it's like, you can it's like they can't even look you in the eyes and you can't even look at them with a straight face. Like, you got to have a school face when you look at them because they just so disgusting. They was attacking your children as well. That's what I'm getting with this children card. And it was very childish. It was very childish of them to attack your children here. And you are very connected, deeply connected with your children. So you know what's going on with your children spiritually. And these karmas are trying to disconnect your children from you and disconnect your children, you know, spiritually as well. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like they were trying to shut cut, you know, shut down their spiritual gifts, shut them down spiritually. All right, yeah, that's why you need to protect your energy, protect your um your children, protect your crown, protect your yoni, your womb. All right, can, and protect your higher self, protect your crown especially. I keep getting protect your crown cuz these karmas is really trying hard to, you know, to tap into your crown. And once they realize they couldn't tap into it, so they that's when they realize, you know what, I'm going to just try to mess it up, just drive you crazy. They were doing a lot of spell work to drive you crazy, and that shit bounced back around on them. And they thought they was going to keep something a secret. All right, but you're very connected here. And you found out, I'm getting, it's, just, it's more than you just finding out about a, the spell work. For a majority of you guys, you know, they thought they was going to keep it a secret, them doing spell work on you. The karmic ex in the third party that we, like, we exposed. All right, but your intuition told you. All right, and I feel like there's another secret that your intuition told you about. I feel like all the shit they were doing to you was supposed to be a secret, and it got exposed. Honestly, even with your children, it, it all got exposed, what they was doing. They, some of these karmics even told on themselves. All right, and we have music. Something about music is significant for you. Your children love music. All right, I feel like these karmics was, like, trying to, like, send entities to, like, trick your children and they was like almost gonna like communicate to them through their ears to like confuse them and trick them to you know and for them to like hear voices and stuff like that all right for music and i feel like one of your children is like really connected when it, to music maybe know how to sing and maybe like beats and stuff like that your child is very talented, and this karmic was jealous. I'm getting an auntie. This could even been an auntie that was jealous, and that's the T. Like, you had a jealous family member, jealous of your children, and you, mainly of you because you are their mother, and they know that you are giving birth to, like, these magical, talented children. And they were just like, I want that, I want that, and they can't have it for themselves. Somebody even have a hard time getting pregnant. It's like another, a karmic could have a hard time conceiving, and they're jealous of you because you can easily conceive or you have children, and they always wanted it, but they didn't. All right, and this could even been a friend, an old friend. That could have been tied in with your family member. They was talking shit about you with a family. All right, you found all this stuff out. This is like a friend who used to go out with, was cool with and shit like that, but you realized that there was a snake, and it was talking about you too. Okay? With this music, I'm just getting, like, clear audience. Like, you guys can hear things well. All right, and it's like whatever the gossip that these karmics were saying is almost like music to your ears because, like, you already knew. All right, you already knew about the gossip and, and stuff. All you had to do was just speak up against it, speak up about it, and they got mad. They didn't want you to do that. It was like, you know, why you couldn't just keep it a secret? Why you just couldn't keep that to yourself? Like, why you're doing wicked and evil? This is someone that is used to getting away with their bullshit, and they can't get away with it with you because you are very protective. You set boundaries. It, you, you're not someone where anyone can just tap into your energy, and this is what this karmic wanted. Yeah, and I feel like this karmic is in the background dealing with a whole bunch of confusion and, and conflict within themselves. All right, and in loves, and they was trying to project that shit on your your relationship. All right, and I feel like you spoke up against it, against their confusion and, and their lies and, manip and manipulation here. 
all right and this is with your ex and this is like i'm getting this karmic energy is still coming back around like they're still around here i don't know why this this karmic is still in your energy here all right it, it gotta be because they obsessed with you it's like they wanted they tracking you down to see if you still with this ex and you not and you could even voice that shit that you don't want to be with this ex but apparently this karmic is still following you here yeah screen clean so a lot of you guys just need to continue to like purge and cleanse your energy i did burn my save before i started all right yeah because they i feel like she's following you so she can continue to send you fear and doubt you know to um to try to block you and stop you from moving forward here because she's dealing with a lot of shit with this bumping heads and she's dealing with a lot of stuff with your ex too all right and she can't get over the fact that you're the sweetest thing here and i feel like even spiritually like spiritually you just you the sweetest things to to the stars like the ancestors respect you they love you you're sweet to them and this karmic was had a mask faking trying to be like you that's what i'm getting they was masking themselves as if they was like you spiritually as well all right so they can steal your energy and a lot of you guys had to ground yourself and meditate to release that energy. A lot of you guys had to, you know, seek wisdom from spirit. And spirit told you this person just delusional. All right. And, and at one point, they said they wasn't going to stop until they had no choice. It's like now the time is ticking. It's like they're having multiple towers. It's like God and spirit had to show them doing this to you. It's not going to lead them to a good outcome. And it's almost like they had to been forced to let go. And now that they're forced to let go, it's almost like it's too late. All right. Because, listen it's too late for them to still try to stop you because you're already on your way to your new beginning all right with your new lover okay with your new love bird <laughs> that's what i'm getting all right and i'm getting in it it's like this karmic even though you're not even with this old ma uh, masculine this ex she was still sending you confusion you know to your life and your new love and all that confusion she was sending to your your um your love life that's being cleaned up here. All right. If some of y'all are still waiting on this DM, I feel like y'all should just move forward because this DM is contaminated. It's contaminated, okay? They are poisoned. They are polluted by this Jezebel karmic, all right? There is like a sex demon hopping around. And I think it's best if you just move forward because that sex demon is just going to jump on you and possess you, all right? And it's trying to come after you and your children as well, all right? Like this, like, this DM is crazy. And I feel like the reason why they want to come after your kids is to try to use your kids against you. All right. And in the background, she was feeding you a lot of fear and doubt. Okay. A lot of fear and doubt. That's her in the background trying to speak negativity towards you and you just moving forward, you and your lover. And I'm getting in the, in the midst of all of this she was doing to you. She was sleeping with your lover, your, um, not your lover, your ex-lover. She was sleeping with your ex-lover doing sex magic. They were doing sex magic together, I'm getting, to like try to take you down. That's what I'm channeling. Like, y'all had a this karmic was crazy doing sex magic to try to take you down the karmic ex-lover and the third party was doing sex magic to try to take you down here and they thought you wasn't going to know this stuff but you're connected here they probably thought you was going to find out but you're connected by you finding this out and it's re lets me know that you're connected because spirit guided you to this reading here yeah they wanted you to be walking around with rose colored glasses but you see the truth you see everything mm -mm 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 -mm. it's like these karmics is tied up the same old energy that they're in but yet they won't do anything to change up the energy they keep blaming you for why things is going wrong in their life but they just won't take accountability accountability that their life sucks because of themselves not because of you yeah they need to gain higher wisdom here they're in a low vibration they the ones with the rose colored glasses and they're not happy here they're not happy they're miserable and, and that's why they talk shit about you and everyone but a lot of you guys is definitely a family member that's jealous of your children i'm getting that okay hold on let me write a title mommy Open. Mommy. Yeah. Hold on, yeah.
So what I'm getting is that y'all have a jealous family member that's like projecting on your kids. I feel like y'all also, you know, have ex karmics as well, like an ex karmic, okay, that is also doing sex magic on you to try to stop you as well, okay. So yeah, because I just realized, you know, I did say some of y'all have a family member, but I feel like the sex magic was for like a lot of you guys as well, and I don't think the family member is doing sex magic. They could be. Y'all let me know, but I feel like it's an ex that's doing it and then y'all have also a family member in the background but these karmic they need to gain you know they need to be in a high vibration they're in a low vibration they're stuck there the karmic is stuck in a low vibration all right and lower than the 3d and it's like it's because of gossip they're stuck in gossip that's what i'm getting it's like all their all their lies and manipulation got them all crossed up they're crossed all right and and listen you're the sweetest thing that's what i'm getting your your sweetness you in sweet energy right now all right and they are crossed up in gossip they talking about you that's that is what's showing people, you know, the who's the problem. It's them. They're the one that's coming to people talking about you. You're not the problem. They are. They need to stop talking about you to people. All right? They need to stop gossiping. All right? Listen, you're strong. You have your strength. They don't have no strength. They're very weak. All right? For some of you guys, like I said, this karmic don't have no children. So that's why they was real cold-hearted towards your kids. I'm getting they will never have children. All right? Or their womb is poisoned. So if they have a, they're going to have a cursed child. Their womb is cursed. All right, they're going to have children just like them. Karmic. All right, time is ticking. A ticking time bomb. A karmic is about to explode. It's like all this fuck, everything that they was gossiping about is about to come to light. That's what I'm getting. And with this let it go, I feel like this is when this karmic finally going to let it go. Like some type of altercation going to break out between the karmic and your ex or some shit going to blow up and the karmic going to be involved. And that's what's just going to show them that they just need to let taking you down go because shit is circling back around on them. Like, honestly. All right, yeah, mistakes happen. This karmic made a mistake, and they should have just accepted that they made a mistake by taking accountability. All right? The karmic is saying that they made a mistake and slept with your ex here. If this, okay, what I'm getting, for some of you guys, y'all friends slept with your ex, and they saying that was a mistake they didn't mean to. They was manipulating into doing it. All right, that's for some of you guys. And for others of y'all, your ex slept with your, um, well, it's the same way. And it's like, okay, it's the same thing. I, I, I was going to say the same thing, but just the other way. All right. So, yeah, it's, and that's what I'm getting, the energy. It's like y'all getting energy, y'all getting information from two separate sources. All right. And it's like you're going to be hearing the same thing. But it's just going to be coming from different people. Like, you're going to be hearing, hey, did you hear about your ex sleeping with your friend? And then you're going to be hearing from other people, hey, did you hear about your friend sleeping with your ex? It's like, it's going to be that type of he said, she said drama that's going to be going down with this karmic and the ex here. Somebody had sex with someone and it was a mistake. I'm getting because they caught something. A STD and I'm also getting like a spiritual STD too. And I feel like that's what's making it so confusing for the karmic is that they don't know if, you know, if it's their spell work or if it's just life that's happening to them, all right? It's karma. It's both. If they're messing with spirit, spirituality, they're definitely getting karma from spirit and they're dealing with karma, 
which is life life happening it's both here somebody definitely got a spiritual std and a and a std and someone could also be pregnant that's probably where that mistake is coming from like somebody could have bust off into you know what well, your karmic ex could have had sex with the the um third party and bust off in her and now she's pregnant all right and your intuition is telling you that this bitch is pregnant and it makes you want to vomit because it's like i'm getting like disgusting energy like this this 3d based karmic is disgusting and i feel like everyone is going to know about it people is like people intuition going to be you know activating around these these karmics and they're going to be putting two and two together without them even having to hear what the karmic have to say it's like the truth is going to be exposed shit going to be illuminated and coming to light yeah that's the surprise plot twist is that everything that this karmic did to try to take you down with spell work is manifesting you know for them on in, in in their life manifesting on them in their life i'm sorry and this is what they wanted but it's happening to them and that's why for some of you guys they could still be watching you to try to try to see if you know if you know what's going on to try to put the blame on you like look well divine feminine masculine said this and the third so that so that's how i know it's not me it's them like no they gotta stop putting their shit on you they need to take accountability for their shit all right you're a queen all right, you're a queen here. Look, and they and they're experiencing an unexpected outcome because you wanna know why all this is happening to them? Because you're an empress or an emperor. All right, you're in your power. You're powerful, and you, and you have power within in your hands. Like all in all, like you you have that authoritative status spiritually. So anyone who messes with you get karma, and this karmic needs to learn how to create a life that they want to live, just like how you did. They try to copycat you. They try to copycat your life. All right, how the way you set up your life and shit through manifestation and magic and, and, and spirit. And that failed through tarot. All that shit failed. All right, all that shit failed. And they the ones that, want, they, that wanted to take things too far. I'm getting that knife again. The karmic was the one that grabbed the knife. Because for some of you guys, y'all said that they pulled the knife out on you. All right, because some of you guys are masculines in here. And for some of you feminines, this karmic wanted to pull a knife out on you, but they know they can't because they scared. They scared of what you're going to do to them next. It's like, if they try to pull a knife out on you, you you are liable to defend yourself in any way. You just need to just dance on this karmic, okay? You need to just just dance. And it's like, I'm I'm getting that song by Nicki, Nicki Minaj, um, Shit It On Him, or no. I think that was Lil' Kim who said Shit It On Him, and then Nicki was like, Did It On Him. This karmic was trying to, I hate to be disgusting, but it's like, they was like trying to like shit on you, all right? And, and, and it's like, you are the shit. You are above them. They are below you. And I'm getting that little Kim and um, Nicki Minaj beat. We all know that Nicki is inspired by little Kim. So little Kim is the original. She inspired that, you know, that style of rap music for women. All right, so you are little Kim, and this is Nicki Minaj, okay? And there's Mickey, Nicki Minaj is, like, you know, she has more money than little Kim, but we're not looking at the money here. We're looking at, you know, because this karmic don't have more money than you. They don't have, they don't have shit. They don't. They living off of, you know, your ex, um, your karmic ex and whoever else that they're using. They don't have no money, all right? You're more independent and self-sufficient than they are, all right? But it's like... The same way how Nikki took inf inspiration from Little Kim and made a name for herself, this karmic should have did the same thing. You know, took whatever you're doing as inspiration and applied it to what they're doing in their everyday life. And they probably will be doing a lot better and, and bigger. But they, they too busy hating and stagnating on you and other people. They even hating on your ex, all right? They was even, you know, projecting failure on your ex so they can never, ever leave them. And, and keep them low. And some of y'all could have warned them about that. But they didn't want to listen. Your ex also had a mask. It was also fake and two-faced. That's why I feel like you should leave them. Because they also got karma coming as well. They they willingly and openly slept with this ex here. I mean with this karmic third party. Okay. That they're now trying to make an ex now because she's pregnant. But it's like spirit is almost like showing them. But it's like the energy that they're seeing around them is like they look stupid. And they feel like a clown. And that spirit showing them the energy that they that they created. That's the energy that they're in. That's the pot that they stirred. And it's like they claim to be 
doing better than you and they shitting on you. But look, they pregnant by someone who secretly don't even want the baby. And that's still projecting on you that they're coming after you and they coming for you in the sense of I'm going to get you back. And we're going to forget about this um, karmic third party. We're going to find a way to be together. But then having a mask around a third party, but you know, pretending like they don't like you and they know that you're doing all these things to them to try to hold them back and keep them to stay. Like they were just faking two-faced. That's why they have no brain. They're brain dead. They're brainless. And they got to have karma, an unexpected outcome. All right. They need to ground themselves. All right. They need to ground themselves. They need to ground themselves, all right? And you need to continue to create. They're the ones that need to get grounded. And I'm getting there rooted, all right? God and spirit rooted them right now so you can continue to create, being in that Empress Abundant Energy, so you can continue to elevate and celebrate. Let these two people bump heads. They're going to be bumping heads over money too, all right? Yeah, and it's like everything is going to fall right on this negative Natasha because she was being negative. And other people around her is going to be saying, that's what you get because you started all this shit. You created all this shit. You wanted to get pregnant, so that's what you got. You got it. You got to be careful what you wish for, especially when you use the spirit. All right, because the spirits will definitely utilize your dirty laundry against you with that same magic spell. So you got to come to them correctly and with righteous intention. And it's like the karmic is giving up. That's why they're giving up. That's why. Continue to focus on your spiritual beliefs here. All right. Let's pull some um, tarot cards. Look, you completing this cycle like a boss. All right, I'm getting you starting your own business here, and it's like your production going to be running real smoothly. These karmas were definitely trying to copycat you with your business here in the dark and secret, and they were stealing your energy at night. Every night, they were stealing your energy, and that shit fell. Everything that they were trying to do to you is circle back on them. It's like they were stealing their own energy because that spell didn't work on you. It worked on them. They were stealing their own energy, magic, confirmation, and they will wake up feeling drained. All right, spirit don't play. Spirit manipulated the entire spell because you're a, a earth angel, a chosen one, a star. All right, you have to focus on your destiny. And plus, what they were doing to you was just not right. It was because of their own jealous, wicked heart that they need to heal. All right, and they was, I'm telling you, these karmics were doing a lot of black magic to take you down. They was planning up against you, this karmic and the third party ex. All right, they're being exposed again. All right, because they just didn't want to stop. They just did not want to stop. It's like they saying they don't want to stop, but they had to. G-O-L-D. All right? And it's like, the energy they feeling is that shit is coming for them now. All right? Like, that shit is coming back around on them, and they're stuck. They're rooted. The karmic is definitely rooted. They're rooted and stuck in a current situation. They can't get come out of it, and that's the damn truth here. The ancestors put them in spiritual prison, all right? Because they can't. So they can't conjure up and utilize the spirits anymore here, all right? Because they were just using spirit for battle for nothing. They were trying to start spiritual war for nothing. It's like you tell this karmic no, all right, I'm going to do black magic on you. Like, that's abuse, all right? And it's like you're a star and you stable with the four wands. You made, It's like this is your wish. Yeah, that is your wish for you to have the four wands, for you to have endless stability, all right, with your masculine so you can get married, have children, you celebrate, be successful, you receive your, your heart desires, your wish, your wish fulfillment with your partner. That's why there's two people here. You guys just got married, and now you're about to start a whole new life, all right? And it's like this karmic was in the background trying to block that and stop that. Y'all not even with this person, this ex, or effing them. They are, all right, and they pregnant by them and was planning, you know, to get pregnant just to spite you, Okay? And then get an abortion, I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. They was going to get pregnant and then get an abortion. But they were just going to get pregnant just to start up a whole bunch of drama and shit. All right? And then abort the baby. This is someone that's nasty. All right? Somebody, yes, some of y'all could be a Capricorn. All right? Or a Libra. This person could be. Y'all got water placements here. But they're getting their ass whooped. It's straight karma. And they're going to have to come clean. They're going to have to tell the fucking truth because they got in trouble. All right? Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody is coming towards them. They feel like something is coming towards them. All right? And I'm getting a hospital. They're going to have to fucking tell the truth. All right? Somebody's going to be hospitalized and they're going to have to be honest here. And I'm getting, they was rejecting the truth for a long time. They was rejecting telling the truth for a long time. But it's like one of their little magic spells to make you tell the truth about what you're doing to them is going to backfire on them. And they're going to have to tell the truth. They're already suffering from psychosis. Like, oh, I have to tell tell the truth i have to tell the truth i have to get this off my chest and it's almost like y'all i'm seeing a lot i'm seeing a lot of craziness all right i'm seeing a lot of craziness this karma used to scream and yell at you or yell over you like 
oh my god, I can't believe, like, crazy shit, all because you left them out in the cold, I'm getting into, like, yell, all right, and then overreact and then be triggered, and it was all doing it around the time y'all was separated, all right, it was really heartbroken and sad, all right, so they went to this third party about you, and they was fucking this third party on purpose just to get back at you, and now they realizing the error of their fucking ways, and they're just like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I did create a pregnancy, I manifested a pregnancy, and like, now look, you set free, your womb is free, your ovaries is free, you don't have this curse being passed around in you through your womb, because this karmic ex is literally like, their semen is, pat is like curse, it's curse, they're like passing curses down Generate through generation and generation through their semen, all right? Because their semen is cursed, all right? And this this karmic third party, their womb is cursed too because they were doing black magic on you and your children. And the curse, your children womb and, and your womb so you can never get pregnant, that shit worked on them, all right? That, that shit worked on them. And I know I did say in the beginning of the read that this karmic can never conceive and if they do, it's going to be a cursed baby, all right? So y'all pay attention to that, all right? Do not be saying I said one thing, but I'm saying another now. No, you got to listen. I said, unless it's going to be cursed. <laughs> That's for someone. Somebody don't be listening to my reads. They just listen to what they want to hear. All right? You need to get the hell out of here because you're stupid and dumb and retarded. But, yeah, their womb is going to be cursed. Let me just pull cards now because I've been shuffling and talking. All right? And we already at 32 minutes now. Yeah, they're not honest. This could have been an um. Somebody could have air in their chart. They're false. They're not honest and you couldn't trust them. And I'm getting like they're not protected here. All right, and they're very foolish. They said a lot of foolish shit that they can't take back. That's why they're stuck here. All right, and if they're utilizing like a death angel, death is stuck on them. That's also what they're feeling as well. Like death is coming back around on them. This is all a part of their conscious records. They have a karmic and conscious records. All right, because of their bloodline, their ancestry. All right, that shit was passed down from generation to generation. And their generation at the end right now caught that damn curse. All right, they're stuck in a demonic karmic cycle. And I'm getting they're stuck with demons here too, and they can't get out of it. They can't get out of it. All right, they're not gifted here. That's what I'm getting. They're not chosen. That was a lie. They was going around telling people that they're more chosen than you. That was a lie here. This person got them caught up in a whole heavy burden. I know my cards are upside down, but I'm reading a reverse. They open up their energy to the devil, to the underworld. These karmics were doing like black magic. And your karmic ex was doing a lot of shit. They could have even been a warlock. And the karmic ex could have been a witch. I mean, the third, the third party could have been a witch here. And I'm getting a lot of mi mixing of the energies. So there's definitely 50-50 masculine and feminines in here. I see that. But some of y'all masculine, y'all ex was a witch and the third party was a warlock. And for y'all feminines, y'all ex was a witch and the third party... I'm sorry, y'all ex was a warlock and y'all third party was a witch. Okay? Yeah. And that's what's being exposed. Uh, it's like people can see death on this, this damn death angel. All right? And I feel like this karmic ex is even seeing a damn death angel around them. Like, they're going to see the death angel before it gets them, before it hits them. All right? That's a part of their Akashic Records here. It's coming. That's what I'm getting. An ending is near. An ending is near. All right? And it was because of all their black magic. And they were doing a lot of black magic on you to cause chaos in your life and that, and to um stagnate your life and shit. All right? And that shit failed. It was doing root work on you, too. All right, because they know that you are um, a secret high priestess, so you secretly into, you know, magic and tarot, fortune, and they were trying to utilize spirituality against you, all right? Yeah, you, you definitely work with spirit, all right? And and you practice with spirit. You play with spirit, and this karmic was jealous of that because they wanted to, you know, do the same thing you was doing spiritually, but they couldn't achieve it. And it's because they're not a good person. They're a nasty person. Their spirit was rejected. They have the spirit of rejection on them. They're reprobate. All right, because of their 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 crimes. All right, because of their crimes here. Because of their damn crimes. Because of their damn crimes. The spiritual crimes and the crimes that they did on this planet. All right, the despicable things, dishonorable things, disgraceful things. All right, yeah, look, you're the emperor. You're a masculine here for some of you guys. We did get the um, impress as well. But it's like you're too powerful, you know, to be dealing with these damn motherfuckers. Then to be dealing with them. 
You're more powerful than them. It's like you're in your power now, saying you're powerful and you are healed. They're trying to say you're not healed, but you are. They the ones that's not healed. They got some nerve to say that they powerful, but they're not healed. How the hell are you powerful with a weak heart? Only way for you to strengthen your heart is for you to heal. They're not gonna heal, and that's one thing they also gonna admit that they never healed from from you. And that's why they was under a fucking weird psychosis here. Yeah, they never healed from y'all separation and y'all breakup because they wanted you. All right, something about juice. Something about juice is significant. Some of y'all could be drinking juice. All right, I feel like this karmic was even trying to curse your drinks as well. I'm picking that up. Like when you drink juice, it will be cursed here. I feel like this third party karmic was also cursing your ex through the drinks and the food that they was eating together so i'll be careful with that somebody was definitely like some of y'all put y'all pills in your food then that's fine i'm also getting that as well that's just a confirmation that this is for you yeah they were trying to send you towers back to back to back and that shit manifested on them and and i'm getting a masculine all right I was, i'm getting more than one masculine energy with this emperor okay and whoever this masculine is this warlock that was attacking you in the sidelines they got a tower all right and i'm getting their dick is busted yeah, their dick is busted. They definitely, and I'm I'm getting like they have a list of people who they slept they slept with, and it's some one who they slept with who they claim is a mistake. You know they should never did it. All right, or and they all in their mind like damn I should never had sex with with you know this third party because they're pregnant. Okay, that's what I'm also getting as well. They stressing over the pregnancy and they stressing over whoever else they had sex with who they don't want you to find out about. And it could be with that friend. All right. And then they're sleeping with the third party. They're trying to get to you. That's a lot. That's a lot of energy that they're carrying. That you just can't get yourself involved in. I'm sorry if this reading is all over the place, you guys. But I'm really trying to make sense of it. Myself. Alright, yeah. I'm hearing that you are the lovers. You are in a twin flame soulmate union already. Alright, you already had your reunion with your actual divine counterpart. All right, this X is literally just an X. There was literally a karmic before that wheel, you know, opened up, turned, before that wheel turned and opened up the door for you to meet your actual lover here. This karmic is still single and left down the cold, and they watching you moving on, being happy, and they're like, I have to I have to root you and stop you. They figure they tapped into that stuff as a part of their little culture so they can do it, but they don't realize it's a part of all our culture, all right? It's a part of all the indigenous people culture here. All right, a lot of the root workers, you know, you can consider, consider them as shamans because they work with the elements. They work with nature, okay? So this karma, they just utilizing it for magic to get their way, and the ancestors don't like that. That's why the shit don't be working out in their favor. And I'm getting, again, you healed from this situation, and now you're moving on to a whole new um, relationship, a higher level of commitment, and you are chosen. God chose you because you have a healed heart. God did not chose this person because they don't have a healed heart here. All right, and we all, you know, it's like we're all chosen for something. Maybe this karmic was chosen to heal to break that ancestral curse and bloodline. All right, but they chose to make it worse, to weaken it by doing spell work on you. This karmic is confused. It's like they don't even know how to break curses. You know how to, but they don't know how to. They're crazy. They're stuck in the past. They was always heartbroken over you. I'm getting, you know, they just added spirituality in it just to fuck with you, but it really had nothing to do with spirit. All right, they, you know, but minus the fact that they were jealous of it, but it was really because it was hurt over the separation that you left them out in the cold. And it's like, if y'all was still together, they feel like, you know, you could have used spirit to help heal them, but it's like, you can't do that. They have to want healing for themselves. A lot of you guys are spiritual healers. All right? And this person is a killer. All right? That's what I'm getting. They're a killer. They have a killer mind here. All right? But they don't execute their plans. All right? And they and they walk around with stolen crowns here. They're a thief. They're a thief as well. All right? They like to spy on people's damn energy. All right? Look. And you're the higher fan. You're in that happy Ganesha's energy. You're blessed and fortunate. All right, and they are in separation still. Like I said, they don't have any anyone. All right, and you're still strong. Cause like I said, they going, they bumping heads with this third party right now. They bumping heads with the third party. Mommy. They want to come towards you. Mommy. Hear me now. It's all. It's you done all right. I don't know if this karmic is trying to project to you that they still with this third party. I feel like they're going through a lot right now with this third party. And they're like single. And they're trying to come towards you because they're going through a lot. Alright. 
And the only time they was with this third party is when they wanted to get back at you and they receiving a whole bunch of karma for it. You guys got money coming in, expecting inheritance to come inheritance to come in. I've been talking about this. Expect good karma, expect an offer to come in, a pay raise, a check, some money. Alright, blessings from spirit. Alright, and I'm getting your spiritual gifts, alright? I feel like you guys expect that to come back around if they've been trying to block it or leave it like hazy. Expect to come back around. I'm getting even your higher self. Expect just, yeah. If they've been trying to, like, disconnect you from your higher, spell, your higher self doing a spell, alright? Expect your higher self to come back, alright? Because it was utilizing spell work to block your higher self, so you won't be intuitive. They was thinking of every trick in the book to block you from your intuition, and, and they, they all failed. All right, and yeah, they spying, they watching. All right, trying to, they was almost like trying to say you need to watch your back in the past and look, that shit bounced back on them. Now they spying on you because they feel something coming towards them and they want to see if it's you or is it them. No, it's them. It's them. They used to project to you, you better watch your back, something coming, and now look, that's their energy on their asses. They don't know how to get it off. All right, they posted, they cursed. The devil was cursed. They curses work on them. They curses worked on them. All right, and it's almost like they're begging God to let go of these curses. All right, and God is not releasing them of these curses because they ask for this shit to happen to you and your children. Yeah. And it was doing magic on you this full moon, and it failed. All right, bitch, that bitch was using her period blood on you. We exposed that already, and she fell. Look, Page of Pentacles, you guys are starting something new, and now the karmic got to start something new. They're going to try to get your ex back, all right? They're going to try to get your ex back, and your ex is trying to get back to you, but they confused. Spirit is about to um, release them of that cord attachment that they have to you because, you know, they too hazy. They too confused, and it's like, y'all not meant to be a part of each other's family it's like it's going to be dysfunctional and a disconnected family and it's going to be because of them it's going to be their fault they're going to be the reason why y'all disconnect the family but then they're going to try to say put it on you and i'm getting their whole family is dysfunctional it's like they don't like to admit that that you're right they want you to to be wrong all right so it's best if you just manifest something else. it's best that you manifested something else it was best that you did that new love that you have now or that's coming in if y'all still single all right because this karmic you know the future would have been very bad all right it's like you probably would have thought it would have been bright and maybe in the beginning but it would have turned sour instantly it's best that you did walk away from these people all right because people like them don't change and yes they do want to come back to start a new beginning with you but they can't it's over you're moving on and your ancestors are, are pulling you to move on here pushing you to move on all right they pulling you forward and they pushing you forward okay so spirit it's like you have two ancestors in front of you pulling you while two spirits is behind you pushing you. So you're being forced to move on just like how this karmic is being forced to move on here. New energy is coming in. I feel like y'all have like exciting communication coming in or exciting news coming in for you. All right. And that's peace. A peace treaty. These karmics soon are going to be trying to seek peace spiritually. All right. I'm getting the astral realm. There's going to be a lot of peace coming in for you. Like and as far as like in the astral realm. All the drama that been going on in Astro between you and these comments, because we know as above, so below, is going to be peace. You're not going to be feeling a lot of chaos over your head, all right? And with this Three of Pentacles, I'm getting your spirit guys are working really hard to make sure that this peace treaty stays in place, stays intact, and that this karmic don't go back to the past because it's detrimental for them, all right? And, you know, this is just making things right with the Justice card, making things right. All right, being on the, you know, the righteous side of the scale. And plus, they facing karma by your spirit guides, too, because your spirit guides have to protect you. Your higher self is a high priestess. You're sacred. Now, you have sacred wisdom and knowledge within, within you that these karmics had no business trying to tap into. All right, and they were just trying to tap into your energy to try to utilize it against you. And that shit still failed. You still got your way. All right, even day magic worked in your favor. All right, and that's why you're able to, you know, leave this situation full and complete and whole and receiving your heart desires, your wish fulfillment. You're happy, and they're exposed. The earth sign definitely got exposed. Could have been a Capricorn. They are exposed. Capricorn mother here, all right, exposed, all right? Somebody is definitely pregnant. This is pregnancy, all right? Somebody is pregnant within the family, all right? This could have been, and that's what I'm getting. That's confirmation for you.
if this wasn't an aunt, this could be another family member. They were sleeping around with someone who you know and they got them pregnant. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. That's not for everyone. Y'all could have blocked that family member here because they were trying to involve you in that shit. It's almost like just because you know this person does not mean that you have anything to do with a drama. All right, and that's what this karmic family member was trying to do to you, do is like involve you in that drama that they got in. All right, and I'm getting that that family member got that person's pregnant. And it, that person pregnant, it could be an earth sign. They could even got more than one person pregnant. Okay, probably had multiple baby mamas. These karmas were sad over you. All right. They're sad over you now because you're the empress. That's what I'm saying. They're sad over you because you're the empress. And they, look at all this. Look, five, 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 change. Look at this. They about to really get a, a rude awakening, a huge rude awakening that messing with an empress, fucking with an empress, lead them in all, listen, in bad energy. All right, they're depressed over you because you're the empress. All right, and also because it was in that five of swords energy. Very spiteful, sending you evil eye, thinking that they can go against you. And all that combative energy, all that plotting and conspiring and conspiring against you will lead to like a whole bunch of conflict for you and that failed they're facing judgment and now they're facing great changes here 555 is change and in tarot is conflict they plan was to leave you in the five of cups and that's where they are they're facing judgment bad judgment i can see it in the cards here for doing spell work doing root work on you you know, and then being confused about root work, thinking that they can just do root work on anyone because they're mad, and that's not how the elements work. That's not how nature works. That's not how the cosmos work. All right? The cosmos work around righteousness, equalness, fairness. All right? Not because I want to get back at my my ex, which is you guys, Divine Feminine Masculine, because they moved on or because I'm jealous that, you know, Divine Feminine Masculine, it looks better than me. And I'm with their ex, and I want to perceive that I'm better than them, even though Divine Feminine and Masculine done moved on and, and ain't worrying about them. Like, I don't understand. If y'all moved on, why did they still even try to be in y'all face? Do y'all have children together? Some of y'all may have children with this karmic ex. All right? Yeah, this is, like, crazy. And it was doing sex magic, root work. That's why they got in trouble. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to pull more cards. No, me, no. No, thank you. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. I want to make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> Mm-mm. You know, you poking me in the eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you poking me right there in the eyeball. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm going to pull some more cards. I haven't used these cards in a minute. A lot of shit got exposed. All right, this full moon especially. I'm getting a lot. This was, like, exposed. All right. Black magic. There's a lot of dysfunction for the karmic this past full moon. They in limbo. All right, the third party is definitely in limbo, stuck in a magic. All right, they stuck in a nasty energy, and no one can help them get it off. No one is helping them get it off, not even the spirits. All right, they're just going to have to complete this cycle in shame. All right, knowing that they can't heal themselves and nurture themselves just it could because they're re rooted and restricted, but this is what they wanted for you. All right, you're about to receive your ten of coins and your ten of cups. Everything that they were trying to take from you is coming right back around to you. Okay, just, just wait on it. You're going to see. Continue to heal and do your shadow work. All right, this karmic and your ex was really jealous because you're healing. And that you found new love. Mm -mm -mm. And having a new life. Look, healing. You're healing. And they just need to stop denying that they're not healing. Because they're not. In denial. Talking about some. I'm healing, I'm healing. I mean, in denial, saying that... Wait, did I say that right? They in denial saying that about them not healing. Yeah, that's it that right. 
They're not. And they're trying to say that they are. No, you're not. Okay, they're codependent. Cool they're stagnant. <laughs> they're very stagnant. Nine of Pentacles will be stagnant energy. Not receiving, you know, the, the rewards and the fruits of your labor. So it's like all the energy that this karmic put out, they, they even receive a fraction of that shit. And that's why they're not healing. And that's how you can tell that they're not. Because they're not receiving any energy that they put out into the universe. And if they was putting out healing energy, that's what they will receive. They put out a lot of stagnant energy, so they're receiving a lot of stagnancy. And with the four of cups here in reverse, I feel like you're no longer in that rejective and rejected energy, feeling rejected because of these karmics. And in 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 no, you're not feeling that way anymore. You're happy now. You're content. You're refocusing on life. All right. And they're the ones that stuck in psychosis, nine of swords. They're really stuck in psychosis right now because you know everything. And you get to move forward knowing the truth about these damn karmics. And something is coming back around to them. Something's coming towards them. Three of Wands reverse will be energy that's returning. Or energy that's stuck, that can't move. All right. And this could be also a missed opportunity. This karmic, it's like they going to move on from this that y'all went through, which is good. All right, but I feel like they missed an opportunity. Like, they didn't gain or learn much lessons from this besides that they can't do spell work on you or certain spell works anymore. All right, so they still going to be an evil, wicked person. All right, and stuff is still not going to work out for them with the Three of Pentacles reverse. Everything's going to be a fail. People around them is not going to want to work with them or collaborate with them. Even, you know, I, I really do see, like, their life falling apart. I do, and this is what they wanted for um to happen to you, and you guys can clearly see this. Like they're gonna have it tough and hard. If this was like a coworker, you know, people around them at the job is treating them, you know, it's not gonna say treat them like like shit, but giving them a hard time, and it's because people don't like them. People don't like their energy. You know, they give that. They give off the energy of like they're better than others, and and people can see that they don't like it. They aura stink. Look, you get to move on. Your karmic ex is definitely stressing because you're moving on. All right, and everything is working against them. All right, all their little demon shit is working on them. All right, and it's like you is you get to laugh at them. You get to be happy. All right, and then they get to, to to sit in misery. All right, and it's like moving forward, they always gonna be in that two of cups reverse. All right, it's like everything good that comes in their life is instantly gonna be destroyed, and that's what they was trying to send to you, and it is working on them. Like I said, they're not in a they're in separation right now. They're not happy. Alright, even with the third party. They're not happy with the third party. They single. In their mind, they single. Even if the third party is still trying to run towards them. They trying to um sneak away. I'm sorry, they trying to sneak away. See, they on two opposite paths, but for some reason I'm seeing them they still want to meet up anyway. So they may have, you know, unfinished business, right? You know that they need to write off, but they want to run from each other. Well, your ex wanna run from them from the third party right now because they want to come and be a player with you and lie to you and be all up in your energy mm -mm. having sex with you giving you that curse mm -mm. they need to focus on their selves whatever family that they got with this third party that they about to have with, with this third party or whatever the children they have all right when we have the moon reverse so a lot is coming to light and the karmic can't believe it they can't believe they got exposed. All right. Yep. They trickery and them tricking. A karmic is tricking too. Like, like I said in my last read, having sex for money and on top of shit like that. They got exposed for that. They got exposed for gossip. They got exposed for cheating and lying and for doing rituals on you, your fertility, your beauty. All right. They got exposed for that. It's like they think they look ugly. Like they're crying like I look so ugly compared to you. Like that's what the third party was doing. The third party Jezebel, all right, and it's because you're a star. You have, like, beauty, you, you have a lot of beauty here. Like, magnificent. People look at you and just be like, wow, like, you a star, you glow. That's what I'm getting, your beauty glows, all right? Like, you be glowing here. And what I'm also picking up is, um, damn, I lost it. It was something about the karmic, but they don't want that to be exposed, I guess. It don't matter. But the karmic seeing you was very heavy on them, all right, because you intimidated them. And this is both your ex and the third party here, baby mama, third party baby mama, spirit is saying. It, you intimidate them because it's your power. You know. It's your inner knowing and your growth here. Yeah, you know. You the king of souls upright, not reverse. Your discernment is not off, all right? You're very intuitive. In, in, 
intelligent and intuitive all right so it's like you put two and two together real quickly and it's not hard all right and i'm in your consciousness is in a god shifted consciousness you're in the 5d all right a shifted god consciousness or whatever you're in a god consciousness so these karmas can trick you they're like suffering in silence right now with this everything is fine they're perceiving to everyone that they're happy but they're not and people know that they're not happy people know that they're um disposable i'm getting so motherfuckers don't take this karmic seriously this is you know this is about the third party the jezebel niggas just be disposing her ass all right they'll just fuck her get her pregnant and dispose her and that's what she's afraid of what this is what she's afraid of happening to her with your ex okay and that's why she's chasing down your ex really hard like you gotta be here for me and this baby but people around her and other niggas know that she is flighty like she's nasty she's the knight of wands reverse she can't be trusted all right she's like hot pussy you know hot pussy that's what i'm getting her pussy is hot okay it's burning too she's burned all right because yo karmic ex was sleeping around with different jezebels and i'm even getting in the astral realm so they got a lot of spiritual attachments on them too all right this was definitely a warlock like i said they could have even told for um, some of you guys that they're a warlock. And that's why they thought that they were chosen and gifted. Because they, they can, they're a warlock and they can do spell work and shit. I don't know. That's probably what helped y'all connect with the spirituality. But it was still a fail because y'all, you know, see things differently when it comes down to spirit. All right. You're the king of cubs. You're intuitive. You're psychic. You're grounded. You're graceful. You're honest. You're Christ-like. All right. You're devoted to God here. Your gift from God, and and they're just negative. They tap into the dark arts to do negative stuff. That's why they full of bad karma, and that's why things don't work out for them. It's like they know how to do rituals, you know. And, and I'm getting they know how to do like sacrifices and stuff, like soul sacrifices. But I'm getting they don't even do it right. They do it wrong, and it works on them. All right, they they little soul sacrifices don't be working on nobody. It just work on them. That's why they fucking crazy. And I, and they they're like, why didn't it work? Because they 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 ego was they had a god complex mindset like they was in that god complex energy and it's like they ego they ego made them think that they was way more powerful than something that they can even handle is it's like they just called it's like they caused that bomb to happen to go off with on themselves all right they opened up their energy to the wrong energy with the page of wands reverse they was tapped into the wrong energy and now they stuck and they can clearly see that they're stuck here and they know that you intuitive and that you know the truth that they're receiving karma and they nervous they don't want you to know that they just want you to come back to them and and it's like they all beat up and wounded they all beat up and wounded they got all these damn attachments on them seven of pentacles for me as a reader is like attachments that is keeping someone stagnant and slow all these pentacles is different attachments that needs to be removed and you know you could be contemplating trying to figure out how i'm gonna get these obstacles out the way all right but that's just for me as a reader they have so much obstacles on them that's keeping them in that five of pentacles i told y'all yesterday if y'all be with this person y'all just gonna be full of bad karma all right y'all just gonna pick up a lot of their bad karma here and they know this all right and it's like they just full of conflict they just got a lot of conflict around them guys all right death car here reverse they got the reaper on them okay they got death car reverse here twice listen they got a reaper on them all right, they got a reaper on them, a death angel, a, a bad ending. All right, a bad hex, a curse that can't be removed. This is someone that's stuck in the past. They can't have a rebirth or a transformation. They're stuck here. And they try to blame that on you, but and, and that failed. I'm trying to blame it on you failed. All right, because everybody know that they opened up their energy to it. They did it to themselves. All right, they should have just moved on. All right, they did a lot of separation spells between you and your new lover. And, and look, they stuck in the past. They wanted, and like spirit really manipulated their spell work. They were doing spell work for you to be separated from your lover and for you to come back in the past. And spirit manipulated to where, you know, that y'all will be stuck in separation, you and this karmic ex, and that they will be stuck in the past with themselves. Okay, yeah, huh. You try to play with spirit and spirit show their asses. And it's like they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it here. They just want to blame everything on the third party. But then I just say they were trying to blame it on you again they're confused and they and they're retarded too i'm getting and that's why they be with the back and forth it's like their brain it's like the left and the right don't match it's not activated here they're really slow and i'm getting it's like their brain is going backwards here it's like their their screws is, is not moving forward it's moving backwards all right and and 
that's what leads them into that psychosis, all right, that delusional. And somebody, I'm getting dialysis. What is dialysis? Somebody's also going to be in a, um, a pamper as well, in an adult pamper. I'm getting this, this um, 3D karmic. It's going to be wearing pampers in their adulthood, like in their um, elder years, and it's, it's bad karma. It's karma for them, but it's bad karma, all right, because they wish that on you. They're going to be going through a lot as they, um, as they life move forward, as they move forward in their life. <laughs> all right, yep, and it's going to be a, a lesson. They're going to be learning a spiritual lesson. God is going to be teaching them a lesson. I'm hearing a godly lesson, all right, for them trying to do all these things to you, trying to poison your crown and stuff. They black magic did not work on you, all right, and for, listen. Not only did your spirit guys handle it, a lot of their black magic, you know, went to God. And it's like, went to God in the sense of God handled it. God handled a lot of their black magic here and sent a lot of those demons away. Because God do have control of demons, of, you know, light and dark. All right? And it's like, you always walked away in peace from this damn karmic. Every time they try to project nonsense on you, you always walked away peaceful. All right? Thanking God for saving you. All right, that's why I always tell y'all to give thanks to God, all right? Because this Queen of Swords was, was doing spell work for you to do opposite, for you to not praise God, and they're stupid. That's why they're stupid. That's why they feel stupid, all right? Because they were doing spell work for that to manifest for you and your children. Because they thought you was trying to do that to them and for them to not have kids. Like, they're retarded here. Why would you even want to do that? All right, they, they, they created all these different scenarios in their mind about you and ran and told your ex about it here. All right, and that's why you're moving on to a place of peace and you're not stuck or stagnant. They're stuck and stagnant, all right? They are stuck and stagnant, okay? They are. All right, look, and you the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles combined. That's what I'm getting. Both your yin and yang is definitely is, is, is stable and grounded. You're not, like, distorted here. All right, and I'm getting you're going to be very successful on your platform, your business, your work. All right, a lot of business opportunities or work opportunities are going to be moving forward and coming towards you. Your intuition is also, you know, you're picking up a lot intuitively about your future successes and opportunities. So you need to go for it. All right, these queen of, this queen of swords was really trying to, like, work, use bad juju. I'm getting that again to, like, you know, go against your, your future opportunities and your manifestations, but they still come in anyway, so get prepared for them because they're coming here. You're definitely divinely guided, and this karmic is sick here, and, they, and they're going to be forever sick. They're distorted. A karmic is going to be pregnant and distorted. She may not even know who the fucking daddy is because they was... I did say they cheated on each other. You guys may know it. And, and you know, she could be pregnant from that other person's baby. It's a lot of mix-up and a lot of drama that this karmic don't want you to know about, but you know anyway... All right, your spiritual team put you up on game because they was keeping you up in a lot of, this karmic was keeping you in a lot of bullshit and a lot of he said, she said, all right, and they was doing a lot to keep you stagnant and slow, all right, they were trying to, like, make you slow, and I, and this ex was doing black magic on you to give the third party your power, and that shit failed, that shit backfired, that shit backfired, times 10 here, backfired, they, they feel betrayed. Like, they lost all their power. I'm getting all their power went to the damn third party. That's how spirit manipulated their spells. They so stupid and dumb. All right? And they thought spirit was stupid and dumb, and spirit showed them. All right? Tower, chaos. All right? And it's like they have to surrender and put down their sword. But they, it's like there's more coming. This is not, it's not over. Spirit is saying it's not over. More is coming. Y'all, my, um, what is this, Neptune? Yeah, I think Mercury, Venus, Earth. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. This is Uranus here. A lot of chaos. This person, it's like, I'm getting, oh my God, off the charts type shit. Like, who, this karmic, they birth chart is messed up. Their Uranus, I'm getting, is like, <laughs> it's not far off their birth chart, but I'm getting, it's like, they, they in so much chaos right now. They in so much chaos, and it's like, that Uranus energy that's on their birth chart is not good, all right? I feel like they have Uranus in their chart somehow, or they even have Aquarius in their chart, okay? And they could have even been attacking the collective, too. That's what I'm also picking up with their spell work. But their Uranus, thank you, Spirit, their Uranus on their birth chart or... Uranus as a whole, even if it's not on their birth chart, Uranus, the planet, is going to cause a lot of chaos and upheavals in this karmic life, a lot of unsettled changes, okay? Because Uranus just don't mean chaos. It's a lot of unexpected change, 
all right you know rebellion in energy so it's almost like the cosmos is going to be rebelling against this karmic in the sense of they're going to be expecting good news and they're going to be getting bad news and that's the cosmos working against them all right and that's why i was getting that you know even if they don't because i was seeing uranus on a birth chart but fading away so they may not even have no uranus connections all right but it doesn't matter They're, uranus is still in the cosmos all right so uranus is, is yeah that energy that chaotic unexpected change energy is going to begin to them and um right now uranus is in taurus all right so someone could be a taurus you could be a taurus all right, and I'm getting it's like Uranus and Taurus is definitely an opposite type of thing. Uranus, like, do what they want. Taurus is slow and patient. So, um, which is okay. I feel like y'all should research um, Uranus being in Taurus. I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. It's virtual grade too, right? Damn. Let me see. I'm going to look into it, y'all. Uranus retrograde falls in your... Okay, that was July. Falls in the fourth house, the home of life. Aquarius, which means... Okay, what happens in Uranus retrograde? Uranus goes retrograde every seven months or so, and it is very much part of a natural cycle. It creates an illusion of going backwards. Didn't I say they mind was going backwards? Traveling back over the ground it has covered for the past few months since April. Alright, it could help boost confidence. But, um... Yeah, it's in Taurus. I feel like that's what it is. Alright, they were doing a lot of rebellion, rebellious, chaotic energy. And I'm getting rebellious as far as, like, the cosmos. Breaking a lot of cosmic laws and stuff. So I'm getting... You know, by Uranus being in Taurus, you know, that's going to, the, the cosmos is going to teach them a lesson. By Uranus being in Taurus, it's going to slow their asses down. And and Taurus is all about, it's the Hierophant, tradition, law and order, all right? Structure, you can't, like, if you guys know a real Taurus, a Taurus have boundaries, they, 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 they set on their traditions, they're disciplined, they're grounded, you know, and they're about the practical things of life in life you know they're not you know like uranus that's unexpected and rebellious no they like routine they like scheduling and stuff you know the the lighter side of life you know tauruses are typically chill some of you know i had bad experiences with tauruses but you know I, that's my opposite sign but with this um hierophant i'm getting like they're going to be learning a lot of lessons through structure and discipline because the hierophant represents discipline all right, I, my big mom is a Taurus, and, and she ain't play about discipline, okay, like, at all. So, they're going to be learning a valuable lesson. Uranus is going to teach them, like, you know, you trying to be a criminal, that shit backfires. And they, oh, man, I see them. They're walking around with a lot of bad karma. This is a spiritual criminal, and they're going to jail. They, it's like high crimes, high crimes, okay, high spiritual crimes here that can really get their life taken from them. All right, literally, that's what God is saying. Their life could be taken from them. All right, they life may be spared depending on if they do right, but if they keep fucking up, then that's it. That's it, because everything's already backfiring on them here. All right, this karmic is dirty. All right, they're cursed they're, and they're unhinged. The reason why they was so mad at you and unhinged is because they was cursed by the devil and they was possessed by their own demons. All right, they were so mad watching they them them have tower moments. It's like they would see the tower moments happen in front of them and they would get so mad and they would be like, "It's you, it's you," but it's them, it's them. All right, Mars was even working against them. They were trying to, like, you know, be all in that combative energy, sending the devil after you to, to send, you know, to start spiritual wars and fights. And I'm getting, you know, Mars energy push that, you know, brush that off. I'm getting reason why Mars did it. I know it's all about free will, but I'm getting, like, you know, you guys are definitely you, protected by the cosmos, and you guys are watched by the cosmos. So you guys have beings that know how to utilize the planets to, like, protect you and stuff. And I'm, that's real. I can't make this stuff up. All right? This is all magic with a K, not a C. All right? Magic. Stuff that is real, but it can't be proven. Y'all just gonna have to trust my word. All right? Y'all really do have beings on the other side that protect you. All right? Like Shiva, he's popping up again, and that's the truth here. 
and this karmate, they all they was all jealous because the spirits work for you and not them. And they only want the spirits to work for them because they were spiritually attacking you illegally. Alright? Yes, illegally. Alright, they're like dumb like Patrick. Alright? Because when I said illegally, I thought of Pat um Patrick saying Lily Lily in one of the SpongeBob episodes when they were, you know, little pirates for um who is that ghost? The Flying Dutchman. There we go. For the Flying Dutchman. And they had to, like, you know, I guess be, like, sound off an alarm or, like, a special code. I don't know. And they were just, like, saying weird noises. This karmic is dumb like Patrick. Just know that. They're dumb like Patrick. They're retarded like Patrick. All right? Like, Patrick, he's not fully dumb, like, but he's not all the way there. And that's this karmic. They're not all the way there. And I feel like they was always like that. Like, they wasn't, like, fully dumb, but they wasn't all the way there. And for them to talk mess about you being dumb, and they the ones that's dumb, like, they just got some nerve. They really got some nerve. But, um, I'm gonna go. I love y'all so much. Namaste. Namaste.